We're sorry that we can't be showing you Yankees baseball right now. It's surreal to think that we are in this time. Aaron, you guys were actually supposed to be in Montreal right now. How are you doing? How's the family doing? Is everybody well? Yeah, we're doing really well. Um, you know, when you, when you when I hear you say that, it get a little bummed out. Um, kind of looking forward to going back to Montreal where I played so many National League games and knowing it's kind of the eve of the regular season. So um, there's that kind of professional, personal frustration, um, but also understand that we're in a serious time and kind of just all trying to do our part, but, but our family's doing well. Um, it's given us the time to, time to spend more time with each other, drive each other crazy, but also have some really good times and, and laughs as well. So uh, just trying to do our part. How are you staying safe and sane as a family? Yeah, so actually my wife and I, Laura and I, just got a workout in upstairs. Um, uh, kids are doing school, you know, distance, whatever the, uh, the distance schooling over the Internet. So they have their, their Monday school work today. So they're, they're up and busy and going. Um, you know, <clears throat> we're, we're watching some Netflix stuff. Uh, Doing, catching up on some old baseball footage, you know, I'm, 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 I'm a little bit nostalgic, so I'm watching a lot of old things. I got, I got the DJ LeMahieu walk off that's running on Yes right now. So, um, trying to stay busy. I, I think I have to make a grocery store run today. So, um, doing a lot of cooking together as a family. Uh, kids made us brunch yesterday, so we're, we're managing. Good. Good to hear. Now, as far as Yankees baseball is concerned, I know there were a couple guys on the minor league side that tested positive for COVID-19. Do you have any update just on the Yankees organization? Is everybody doing okay? Yeah, everyone's doing well. Those guys are recovered. Um, the, the minor leagues are still in quarantine, though, because of, as a result of those, those kids uh, getting it. So I think they have three or four more days. I know Cash and Kevin Reese are, are, are being really vigilant and Eric Schmidt about taking care of those guys. So um, trying to keep those guys spirits up as much as possible and obviously a difficult situation but by all accounts it sounds like everything's going pretty well for them down there do you have any indication obviously this is a fluid situation but how often are you talking with major league baseball are there daily discussions weekly discussions as far as where the sport is right now yeah i'm not much i i, I call gene afterman for my updates a lot um i talk to cash you know one or both of them i'm keeping in contact pretty much every day um, and trying to get updates. I, I think there's, you know, a couple more conference calls maybe tomorrow where, you know, you try and kind of update that fluid situation that you mentioned. And, um, you know, but, but it's, but it is a bit of the great unknown right now. I wish you had a date for us where you would say, this is when we're going to start playing baseball, but obviously we do not have that. I'm thinking, man, can we, can we get kind of an idea of when? Um, so I'm, I'm, I want that day just as much as you do. Now, how have you been keeping in contact with the players? Is there a group text? Are there FaceTimes? How are you guys all staying in touch? And how in touch have you been with the players? Um, so I actually got over, um, and I actually, because Garrett Cole lives, you know, really close to me now where they moved. Um, so I went over there and threw with him uh, the other day. Um, and then just keeping in contact, Marcus was in, um, and, and Timmy Lentech obviously in at the complex where guys trickle in still a little bit. I know there were some guys trickling in this morning. Um, I was going to, now that the weekend's done, was going to reach out to a bunch of guys, probably just through text or some phone calls and just touch base and see how everyone's doing. But um, just kind of where you can um, keeping tabs on guys, checking in with coaches, you know, like Matt Blake and Mike Harkey are doing a lot, kind of keeping track of what the pitchers are able to do and get logging that kind of stuff down and trying to keep in touch with them and what's exactly going on. So um, just trying to respect people's space and family and understanding what a difficult time it is, um, but also trying as best we can to, to keep those lines of communication going as well. Now, you mentioned Garrett Cole. Yep. Did you see the video of him and his wife playing catch? Who do you think shot that video? That was you? Yeah. Very impressive. That was very impressive. Hey, I, you know, I had to put my, my uh, I, I had to do something, you know, so I, I figured, figured I'd film them. They're, they're pretty, uh, 
It's a pretty athletic duo going at it right there in the front lawn. How about it? And I know that you were at least six feet away from them because you didn't no want to doubt. be in the line of fire there. No doubt. Uh, now, as far as some news that's trickled out over the uh, past couple of days, Aaron Judge had been down here in Tampa, and he revealed that in addition to the fracture in his rib, he actually had a collapsed lung as well. That's scary stuff, Aaron. Yeah, I mean, I think that the thoracic outlet, not he didn't have that, but that's oftentimes what's associated. So it's just making sure that that was healed because that's when you have the concerns of flying and all that. So um cleared in that regard and and hopefully now I mean obviously again one of the good things is hopefully this is a time where he can get the proper rest to you know allow that bone allow that rib to heal properly and and hopefully when when it is time to play ball that that Aaron's with us and John Carlos Stanton seems to be on the mend doing a little bit more stuff as well right yeah G's doing great G's probably probably if you know if we were to start spring training games up tomorrow he'd probably be ready to go so um, he's, he's been doing really well hitting now for a few weeks. Um, but, but running pretty much at full speed outside and changing directions and doing all the things, uh, necessary to get into a game. So, um, he's good. And, uh, you know, that's the one, I guess, silver lining is a chance for guys to get healed up through this time. Now you mentioned a grocery run that you're probably going to have to do for the household later today. What's on the list? What are the top items, the top requests? I don't know, but the list is building uh, this morning. So, and then I will grab that list and go, uh, go, go do my duty there and, and hopefully pick up. We're, we're stocked up pretty well, um, you know, so obviously a lot of mouths around here to feed. So we need to be stocked up well, but um, I, I'm not sure exactly what's on the list, but I got to pick it. I, I, I'm on it today. Best chef of the Boone children. Wow. Um, Brandon. Brandon. What's his specialty? Well, he, he, he captained the, uh, the breakfast ship pretty well yesterday, although I was, it was good to see Sergo and Bella really jump in. And Bella, Bella did a lot of the dishes, which is sometimes a challenge to get her to do that. And she was on top of it yesterday. So that was good to see. But it was good to see them all pitching in and doing their thing. That's awesome. Good. Nice. Yeah, nice. Good. What, one food you couldn't live without in this quarantine kind of stage or, you know, trying to stay at home. One, one food you couldn't live without. Um, I'll say <clears throat> Laura capped in the uh, – she, she made um, – tacos last night and they were really amazing we, we did these taco different kind of shells and bowls and stuff that there it was amazing so i'll say uh mexican food and on top of that you know i mixed in some chips and guacamole yesterday so um i like my chips and guacamole if you pull those away from me that's that's a little rough on me now homemade guacamole or prepackaged no, guacamole? no the fancy guacamole from like the foo foo grocery store you know the expensive stuff <laughs> oh man now are you been need to get on that i need to get on the homemade yeah i see i do the homemade i like the you homemade do? but yeah. you have a lot more mouths to feed than i do <laughs> no but you know one thing we have been doing a lot of is a lot of avocados so slicing those up as part of breakfast and, and doing them a lot of different ways you know some little olive oil and some some sea salt and pepper and maybe even a little hot sauce on it that's really good but I got to start stepping up and getting into the guacamole a little bit with the avocados. I'd be happy to do a tutorial with you. I, I, we had a lot of time, so. <laughs> yeah. so we'll get back on Zoom and, and, and do a little tutorial. I like it. Um, are you binge watching anything right now? <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, I am. So All American. Hmm. Uh, season two is out now. I watched season two, one last year. So I'm seven episodes into season two. <laughs> Um, Laura's been watching Grey's Anatomy a ton, so I've been kind of loitering on that and, and watching a little bit of Grey's Anatomy with her. We watched this show that was a little bit, uh, what, what, uh, it's weird. I mean, Tiger King or Tiger. Oh, I, I saw the ad for that. I'm dying to oh, watch it. I heard it's insane. Yeah, you need to take a shower when you get done watching it. We, we watched about five episodes last night. It's it's I don't know what to make of it. I'll see when it how it turns out and then make a final call on it. But it was a little crazy.
And have you officially lost your mind and joined TikTok yet? Well, so TikTok with Bella has been a big thing in, in my house now all winter long. So, you know, I, I try and party crash her TikToks, you know, with my little stupid moods, you know. I'm giving you my moods here. <laughs> you know, I like it. I got like three moves and so I jump in and rain on her uh her TikToks every now and then. But yeah, I'm a little over it. <laughs> And uh, last but certainly not least, how upset is the Boone household that they have halted production of The Bachelorette due to the coronavirus? Um, so I am. That, <laughs> I, I am. Uh, I'm a little upset with that. Um, you know, I miss typically that season because The Bachelor obviously fall, fall, falls during spring training. So, yeah, I know, as you know, Phil and I watch that my, when my wife's down, she'll watch it with us. But we're the nerds that um, tend to watch that without missing it. But Bachelorette usually runs during the season, so I don't have a chance to watch it anyway. So out of sight, out of mind, I guess. You're going to make it through. Uh, before I let you go, any message to those right now, like yourself, that are missing Yankees baseball, how they get through this difficult time with all the craziness that's going on? Yeah, so first of all, we're in the eighth inning. We're down three runs here against the Mariners. I think DJ is going to get a walk-off hit here pretty soon. So you can turn that on and check that out. That, that'll that be some fun and, and pass the time a little bit. But, you know, <clears throat> we're all bummed, you know, that we don't have, especially with opening day coming up, you know. Um, we're getting close to that point and all that goes into that um, to have it pulled out from under you is, is difficult. But we all also understand this is all way bigger than, than baseball, bigger than us. And, and it's incumbent on all of us to do our part right now and try and, um, you know, get baseball back to us uh, sooner rather than later. Um, and, and hopefully when we do get back and, and start that quest for a championship, it, it'll make, um, make us even appreciate our Yankees baseball and our sports and everything we probably take for granted every now and then. Uh, hopefully it makes us appreciate it that much more. But for now, do our part. Stay away, stay in, stay safe, and, and enjoy family and friends right now at the house. Aaron, thank you so much for joining us on the New Look Yes Network. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, Meredith. Take care of yourself. You too.